I'm gonna put the grain in my pocket. Read these books. I gotta prep for the fight by reading. Becoming a genius. That's me. <laughs> Refuel my car. So I don't have this extra stuff in my inventory. Um, give Cassidy the H and K cause. Because he's gonna be he's gonna need to be bursting. Well, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. And then we gotta rest till daytime because I read until the nighttime. There we go. That's better. Everything is as it should be now. So we're gonna head over to the Wanamingo Mines. Take care of all those mutated rats, first and foremost. And they are ready and waiting for us to start punching. Groin! I will have to get one groin shot at Frogmorton specifically, if I can make it to him. Before he just dies. Because I, I have some, I have faith in casting it. Wow. So there's three, four, five. Oh, there's more dudes here. Oh, wow. This is going to be fun. So much fun. But the rats should take the focus first. And aren't going to be a problem at all. I say that now. One of them might get a rare crit. Lucky crit. Groin. Eyes. Dead. <laughs> that was a crit. Excellent. I said skip. Skip turn. Give me that armor cl It's like I preemptively said what was going to happen. I'm on the ground now. Just freaking slam my face into the, the entrails of the other rat. Okay, cool. But the armor is keeping me well protected. As you can see, I'm taking a lot of no damages. <laughs> the uh, Metal Armor Mark II is saving my life. So, this is, this is going to be just a nice little jaunt. The Wanderer is asking, yo, what was your favorite thing about Fallout New Vegas, and what was your favorite weapon? Well, I can answer the weapon one. It's probably Pushy, and or the Ballistic Fist slash Two Step Goodbye. Any of those that make enemies explode and fly away by punching them is fun. Uh, favorite thing about Fallout New Vegas? Probably that it was just such a nice mix between old school mechanics and the newer Bethesda first person direction because uh, Obsidian re-added the traits into Fallout New Vegas as well as a perk every other level instead of every level. Um, so even though you still felt kind of godlike by the end of Fallout New Vegas, it felt like it had a longer sense of progression than Fallout 3 did because of uh, perks being split up. You'd have to be more deliberate with your build and stuff like that. The skills, too, being compressed and changed into more um, general skills, like guns, for example, instead of big guns and small guns. And then, like, big explosive launchers would be under explosives. That kind of thing. It all seemed to work pretty darn well. I liked it a lot. Also, the DLCs. They have their own themes, their own storylines, and somehow managed to tie into the main story of the vanilla campaign. There's multiple answers. The Wanderer, thank you for the question. And what is everyone else's favorite thing in Fallout New Vegas and favorite weapon? I can't... Oh, okay, here we go. It's dead. <laughs> Cassidy, come on! Were you jealous of Sulik getting high fives? You don't need more chest armor, Cassidy. And you shot Sulik too! Now it... We know he's jealous now. He's done more damage already to me and Sulik than the rats have. Cassidy, what's going on with you, man? What is your is something wrong? Is something going on with your perception? He killed the last rat. 
Oh my goodness. Cassidy, come on, man. <laughs> it's 440. Oh, man. We're getting really close to that, that top karma. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see if we get a bonus. We're also about 3,000 experience from level 12, where I can finally get bonus eight hand-to-hand -hand attacks, I think. Legionary Assassin asks, I have a question. Is the sharpshooter perk any good? I chose it three times and it slightly made the accuracy better. This is the benefit of doing these in post commentary rather than during gameplay so I can actually look up what's going on with this perk in general. Basically, without getting into too much of the technicals here, maximum range for most long arms and long range weapons is 35. And highest effective range is around 32 if you have a 10 perception or 8 perception with the sharpshooter perk. But if sharpshooter is already maxing out what perception you have for the sake of modifiers, you're not going to see much bonus if you keep stacking them. If accuracy is what you're going for specifically, you'll get way bigger of a benefit if you just keep adding points to your gun skill that you're using. And you've probably seen this playthrough too. Even though my unarmed skill is over 100, there are still modifiers when it comes to aimed shots and enemies armor class and and lighting conditions. So if you haven't already, don't be afraid to raise your weapon skills over 100. What I would recommend more so would be the more criticals or better criticals perks, because if you have the skill to take those aimed shots, you'll be critting a lot more and a lot harder. I hope that helped answer your question, and thank you for the question, Legionary Assassin. Healing a lot and missing a lot. What What is going on? My my accuracy is over 70% for shoot for not shooting, <laughs> punching, shooting with my fist into their head. But I have not I have not landed a single hit. It feels like I'm playing XCOM right now. But that but XCOM is 95%. Not 77% or 70 whatever it's what it's saying. Boy, I'm sure glad I have this armor. <laughs> so much ballistic resistance. Head. There we go. I punched him in the head, finally. Let's kill one of them, shall we? Please. Just one. Okay, he's fleeing. I've, cri I've crippled something on that guy. Oh, these are sawed-offs that they're using. Okay. Um, Sulik is severely wounded, so I'm going to give him a stim pack. And then punch this guy. Oh, and he's dead. 38 hit points of damage. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. Chase him down. Chase him down, Cassidy. Go get him. I believe in you. I'm gonna go for the eyes. My accuracy is, is causing me to miss no matter what almost. No matter what almost. Frequently is causing me to miss frequently. Look, jeez. Okay. This is absurd. The RNG is just not on my side this time but that's okay that's okay I they have to get up into close range too because he is using a solo shotgun it seems like I thought they were using combat shotguns but I could be wrong I'm pretty sure one of them is is he almost is he almost dead Ooh! oh I wish we could have seen that the side of that dude's body exploded. But you guys heard it, though. There we go. He's dead. They all dead. He did have a combat shotgun. I was wrong. Now we can do a side-by-side -side comparison, can't we? And a sawed-off shotgun. So, I was right and wrong. I was both. Look at all this stuff. I can't remember if there's traps here. Maybe I was misremembering. Maybe there could be traps. There, 
there was a, a collapse of some kind. Maybe there, maybe there was traps. And then I arrived later. That could be it. Can I access this bookshelf from behind now? <laughs> that would be cheating. So what do we have? I don't know if there's too much here loot wise, but there's, there's something. I do see a raised plate. Aha. I wasn't imagining things. There's a raised plate right here. A raised stone plate. I have a trap skill of 16. I can't do anything about it, probably. One of my companions might set it off. So I'm gonna go through here. I knew it. I knew things. I know things about Fallout 2 sometimes. Jet helps. That's what the wall graffiti here says. I don't know what it helps. Maybe it helps you go fast, you know, because it's called Jet. Maybe it helps you inhale the Brahmin dung stench. Because that's something that you can do. <laughs> what time is it in game? It's evening. So we're not going to read that skill book just yet. First, going to take care of the rest of the rats. Then we'll start dealing with Frog Morton's goons. But we also are able to access from here, from this side. There's a couple of uh, big garage doors here. Or we could access from the back here. Which we might do. I'm, not, I'm just going to keep doing standard punches on these rats just to have a nearly guaranteed chance to hit instead of relying on 60-70% like we were because I wasn't hitting Jack. I know Jack is happy that I'm not hitting him, but the whole plan is to hit Jack. If that makes sense. If, if, if the joke is landing, it's probably not landing. <laughs> Okay, that's those rats. 320 experience, not bad. Nothing in this bookshelf. What about this desk? I cannot get there. Sulik, Sulik, you... <laughs> we, we be thinking it's time to smell the flowers, grab your bones, say you're too pushy all the time. You gotta be taking life slower. Sulik, it's because you're standing in doorways, man. It's because you're, it's because you're being Lydia. I know we haven't gotten to that point in the age of games. But you'll you'll see. You'll see. One of these things. Okay. Now we've taken care of the rats. We can give Cassidy the H and K cause back with all the ammo. And he will be nigh unstoppable. Nigh nigh unstoppable. Isn't that a double negative? When, when somebody says nigh impregnable or nigh unstoppable. Isn't that a double negative? Doesn't that make it a bad thing? That means stoppable. Nigh unstoppable. Does that mean that we could be stopped? <laughs> I may be thinking on this a little too hard. Uh, Yeah, let's take care of these two guys out here first because I don't think they alert the rest of them inside. Gotta make sure to save. Because... There's a raised plate here, too, somewhere. I don't know where. I'm going to mention that I already did this part a little bit. Uh, and when I opened this door, Sulik was standing right in front of it, attacking one dude. So everybody inside was going out this way. Cassidy went out and around this way, and I couldn't hit anyone. So the main character couldn't take part in the fight, and just had to watch Sulik and Cassidy do all the work, which they were doing poorly, by the way. I did not heal, and I should have. <laughs> Let's punch this guy in the head. Uh, no, 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 no. Standard? No, not a standard punch. Heal myself. There we go. We're doing it right now. Alright, 68 health. I should survive. 
That dude's just running through. Just run on through. Ow. I wonder if Cassidy can hit him from here. Two hit points. Six hit points. And then... 25 hit points. Yeah. There we go. That hurt a little. Did it. I just dodged a shotgun blast from a sawed-off shotgun. That felt pretty good. Okay, we're gonna close this door. Then we're gonna end turn. No! No! <laughs> Sneak? Oh my god. Okay. I guess you can go into Sneak and, and end combat. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go back out to outside. It's very odd. Oh, no, the frame rate. Um, it's very odd. Man, my team was heavily injured. I was going to say, it's really odd that the ambient soundtrack is just wind out here. Like, there's no music <laughs> in the Watermingo area. It's just wind. I, and we waited like three days, so now there's no bodies anymore. I didn't loot. Oh, I didn't loot the I didn't loot the guy. His stuff is still there though. But can I pick it up? That's the question. I can pick up the shotgun shells. That's really all that mattered. Is that oh 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 magic pixel. Come on. There we go. I found the shotgun. And there's nothing left. Okay, good. Now we give Cassie the rest of the shotgun shells. Yeah, it took us like three days. Three days to rest. Took me about one. Took my party as a whole around three. I guess their healing rate is not as fast as mine. Okay. The ideal outcome here is to chuck a grenade in a way that hits multiple dudes. I don't think there's an easy way to do this without Sulik and Cassidy running in like idiots. Because that's the only thing I'm really worried about. This is a very difficult, strategic situation. Because they all have shotguns. I'm pretty sure Frog Morton has an SMG of some kind. So we'll start... We'll start with... Start... There we go. Start with one grenade. 39%. Not bad. I got one. And then... Run back. See what happens. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good job, Sulik. Nice! <laughs> nice! Ah! Eh. Oh, that's so much shotgun. Uh oh, I'm gonna do a little cheat thing. Just cause, just cause I can. If I can't, Sulik, Sulik, push. <laughs> Get up, Sulik! I'm saving you. Uh, because then I can go over here and chuck a grenade at this man. Ah, uh, and we missed another dude falling in half because we're behind a wall. Man, one of these times. Okay, Gang Thug was hit for 20 points. Gang Thug was hit for 24 points and was killed. Gang Thug was hit for 18 points. Sulik was hit for 22 hit points. Gang Thug was hit for 28 points. Wait, what? I hit Sulik? But he's... he left. He moved. Oh, he got back up. There we go. We'd be washed into spear in your blood. So look, you're not using a spear. Bro. Ow. Ow. They're all attacking me. Because I opened with a grenade. Except for that guy. Oh! At least he got a little view of that. That man got exploded. Head. 
And then heal up. The amount of shotguns these men have is scary. Oh! He did a single shot. He had every opportunity to burn all of his ammo blowing up my torso. But he didn't. Thank you, Cassidy, for the support, by the way. This is amazing. Uh, this is gonna hurt now. He's doing single shots. I'm a bit flabbergasted here. I mean, the shot the shotguns are making quick work of my health no matter what. And you just shot Sulik for 41 hit points. That hurt a little. What's he at? Almost dead. Cassidy, this is awful. Sulik, can you heal yourself with a stim pack or at least flee? So Cassidy, I said Sulik, can you flee so Cassidy doesn't shoot you and kill you? Did I say that right? That's what I'm hoping for. Sulik's magic week. <laughs> uh, only today, Sulik. Your magic is strong other days. Oh, man. Juicy. Who put all this ketchup on the ground? Yeah! Oh, yeah! We learn more from the spirits, man! That's what... Man, man. That's what Sulik said. That's an indicator. I think it's it's always white text when it shows up, but that's when... that's That shows when a character levels up. When a companion levels up. Special thanks to my Wasteland Legends, Sven and David Hoover, and thanks to the rest of my patrons on screen now. You can catch future episodes of this playthrough on Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10am Pacific. Thanks for watching, I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.